You too. What the fuck is good? It's your boy Professor Rich, and welcome back to the club channel. Like always, I like to take this time in the video just to tell everyone thank you. I appreciate all the positive feedback, the support. Um, people applying the knowledge that I give to them through my videos or through my DMs. And you guys telling me that I was able to change your life or my advice helped you change your situation in some way, shape, or form. When someone tells me that, yo, that's really a priceless feeling and I can't, I can't explain how much that means to me, y'all, for real. But I'm not going to get too caught up on the intro, even though I always do. I'm just going to dive straight into the topic. And the topic I'm going to be discussing today is working on your energy and how you carry yourself as a man. I know a lot of you guys ask me how to build self-confidence, how to become an alpha male, all types of stuff like that. But you really need to be focusing on your energy, like the energy that you put out. I don't think you guys know how important that is. And shout out to my boy Eagle Prince because we talk about that shit all the time. You have to have big dick energy. You have to have king energy. When you walk into a room, people should be able to feel your presence. You know what I mean? Like, and this is important because a lot of you guys asking me, yo, Rich, if I wear this, does that mean I'm a beta male? Can I still get pussy if I wear designer? Dog, first of all, watch my video designer clothes don't get you hoes, bro. Gucci don't equal coochie. You know what I mean? But I'm saying this because... If you have that energy, like that masculine aura, like, like she feels like what you admit in, bro, it's going to help you get woman. It's not going to only help you get woman. It's going to help you in life. I'm going to first apply it uh, with woman. You know you have this energy or you give off like this vibe. If a woman has told you I don't know what it is. It's just something about you that I like. That's your energy. She's picking up on your energy. I've had women tell me they attracted me just because how I carry myself, how I mind my business, how I don't let people affect my emotions because I'm positive, because people just like genuinely being around me. That all plays a factor in your attracted, like in in your level of a woman is attracted to you. You can be good looking. You know what I mean? You can be the most good looking guy in the world. That's only going to take you so far. If you don't have the energy to match your look, she's going to dry up. You know what I'm saying? You, you've seen SpongeBob. I need water. She, that's her pussy, bro. She's drying the fuck up, dog. Because you don't match that look. You can have tattoos. You can have dreadlocks. You can be seven foot four, dog. You can be the mountain off of the game. But if you have beta, weak nigga energy, dog, she's going to pick up on that and she's not going to be attracted to you. Know what I mean? And... I was on live on Instagram. You guys got to tune in on the Instagram lives. At the real Professor Rich. Follow me. A dude was saying, yo, I'm 6'5". Um, I said, how can you... He said, give me uh, tips on posture. I said, bro, you got to walk like you the shit, bro. I'm not a director. I'm not a model. You know what I mean? But you have to give off that energy when you walk in. Like, in my... my walk like you have big dicks. Like, energy, bro. When you walk in, people want to have to get the fuck out your way. You have to match that energy. I know someone who is, what, 5'9", my best friend, but my brother, when he walks, bro, he walks like he's taller than me. Know what I mean? That's what I mean. You have to match the energy of your look. That will take you a long way. And not just for women, bro, for life in general. People respect masculine energy. People respect king energy. That's why when... People treat me differently than they treat other people because they respect my energy. Your, your boss might talk to you differently than they talk to somebody else because they don't respect that energy. We all know somebody that 
people just really don't respect him. It's just something about him. It's just like, bro, he's sweet. I can tell him, shut the fuck up right now. He won't do nothing. I could smack him right now. He won't do nothing. You know what I mean? That's that weak energy. And when I say work on your energy, first you have to work on your confidence. I tell people, if you want to work on your confidence, first, start your journey of self-improvement on every aspect of your life. But the easiest way to gain confidence as a man, get into the best shape of your life, bruh. The best shape of the best shape you possibly can get into. You know what I mean? Cause you're gonna feel different when uh shout out to Mr. Truck Yo Fitness too, dog. Because I've seen this man transformation. He lost X amount of pounds. I don't know the exact number, but dog, he's gonna have a six pack pretty soon. And I know for a fact that when he's walking, he's gonna feel a lot better than himself and himself than when he didn't. I'm 6'8". I used to weigh 137 or 138 pounds. At this moment, I weigh 193 pounds, bro. I have a, a nice eight pack. My muscles, I'm not as husky as I want to be, but you can see that I go to the gym. I look fit. You don't think that affects my confidence? You don't think that affects my energy when I talk to women? You don't think that affects me on a daily basis, bro? You know what I mean? For real. Y'all, like... Just like when I was a janitor versus when I'm an IT technician specialist now. You don't think that makes me feel different? You don't think it makes me feel different now that I'm actually, I'm growing a platform on YouTube, dog, and I'm helping people change lives? That affects my energy. When I get my first check from YouTube, that's going to affect my energy. When I become a, a self-made entrepreneur and a self-made business mogul, that's going to affect my energy, dog. So when I say work on yourself and... Like, the man you respect, you don't have to be... A lot of you guys walk around trying to be overly aggressive, trying to portray to be someone you're not. You don't have to... You don't have to put on a front to be an alpha male or to be, like, to have king energy. You just have to be yourself. I'm not an aggressive person, dog. I mean, like, people don't try me either. Because I'm just me. A lot of you guys try to walk with your, your chest puffed up and shit. Like, try to fake, bro. People can pick up on that. That's fake. That's fake big dick energy. That just makes you have more little dick energy, dog. So, really just work on yourself, man. Work on the energy. Work on who you surround yourself with. You might, you might at one point had, like, king energy, but you surrounded yourself with too many peasants, dog. You are the average of the five people that you hang out with the most. I didn't create that shit, but it's facts. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. If you hang out with five broke niggas, you're going to be the sixth broke nigga. If you hang out with five successful people, you're going to be the sixth successful nigga. If you hang out with five niggas who don't get pussy, you're not going to get no pussy, bro. And people judge you off of who you hang out with. People judge you on your team. And... Your energy is just like when women like sync up with their periods. Your energy, I don't care how high your energy is. If you're around those people with lower frequencies, they're going to absorb that shit and you're going to you're going to adapt to their wavelength. You know what I mean? And lower yourself. That's why we have to elevate every single day. I tell people, improve by 1% every single day. And it might take you cutting your circle and making your circle a little bit smaller. But you're going to thank me, bro. You're going to thank me. My friend Chris told me I was really stuck. I lost all my friends because I wasn't living right and I was being an asshole. I was going through some shit. But she told me, she said, yo, they're cool, but those aren't. I know there's greater people to be around. I mean, I rarely hang out with my my older friends except like my day ones. A lot of them, a lot of people are temporary, dog. And a lot of people just don't don't match your vision or where you're going into your life. So... If you need to, make your circle smaller. Work on yourself. If they really your friends, they're going to support you. People laughed at me, dog, when I when I wanted to start making my YouTube channel, bro. People didn't support the club. Uh, what y'all don't understand is the club has been rebranded so many times. This has been a thing. 
know what I mean? It had several names. It used to be the first name from it was uh, Trippy Vision. Uh, I was I was part of another organization that didn't work out. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do the same shit I was trying to do for that organization, bro. But I'm getting off subject. 